Hey there folks, Rinium T here and let's talk about how to complete Seafloor Roar, the Lugia 4 star photo request in new Pokemon Snap. So the first part of the request is going to be actually getting to Lugia. Lugia takes a few steps. The first is going to be there is a side path near the start. You will need to use an aluminum ball on the Clotzer if you have not already done so to open up this path when the Clotzer is kind of heading there. And this also will all be on research level three. I do not believe it works on two, but I have not thoroughly tested it there. Once you're heading down that side path, it'll be a little bit. You'll want to wait till you're in the open areas with a bunch of Whalemur and Mantines and all that swimming around. And the way I like to do this is there's a glowing rock a little bit down from the sun. I kind of just focus on that so I can find the needed lantern for getting there. Because you are going to want to find Lantern swimming around, but you don't want to find it too late. You need to hit it with an Illumina Orb. It'll start swimming up, and then you'll know you're on the right track if you see it swimming down being chased by a Sharpedo. Once you've seen that, you'll need to wait a little while longer again until the Whalemur passes by, and then you'll start hearing some noises going on. Um, look around. I don't know exactly where, but you do have a decent window of time, and you'll see a too frillish attacking a lantern. Throw an Illumina Orb at this lantern as well. Also, this is a four star frillish photo if you do not have it. Also, I think four star, four star lantern here. Finally, as a way of saying thanks to you, this lantern you have freed will illuminate a path just at the start of where the clam pearls and luminians are. You will want to make sure you scan once it's available and start heading down that path because that is the path that contains Lugia. Now that we're finally down this path, in order to wake up Lugia, there will be two crystal blooms around Lugia. One in front of them and one behind them. There will be a Magikarp sitting next to that one. You need to light up both of them in order for Lugia to wake up. Once Lugia is woken up, start chucking fluff fruits at it. One should be enough, but just to be sure, I was just chucking fluff fruits as much as I could to try and hit Lugia with them. So at this point, Lugia will be swimming away into the big open ruins area. You will need to wait a little bit again for Lugia to reappear. He'll be right around the point where there's a lantern on the left and some Golisopods on the right. Once Lugia reappears here, again, chuck fluff fruits at Lugia. Um, I found he did a little twirl when he was kind of on the back side of you, and then you can actually see him swimming back around to above the ruins where there is another crystal bloom there. You don't have to worry about the crystal bloom, that's for something else. But Lugia will be sitting above this set of ruins, and you will know you're finally there. <laughs> So now for Seafloor Roar itself, Lugia at this point will do a big roar and start taking pictures like crazy at this point because this is Lugia's four star photo for this request. So that is a lot of steps to get to Lugia here. You have to get that side path from the clots or you have to free lantern twice. Well, you have to hit lantern twice with an Luma orb and then Lantern will open up the path to Lugia, follow the lantern to the path of Lugia, wake up Lugia by hitting the two crystal blooms by Lugia, um, start hitting Lugia with fluff fruits, it'll swim off once it, you can see it again around where there's a lantern and some Golisopods. Start hitting Lugia with fluff fruits again, it'll swim back around above some ruins, the ruins kind of sitting in the middle there, and Lugia will finally do the roar for Seafloor Roar. So thank you for watching, and a big thank you to ColseyMZ on Twitter for posting how to get this Lugia photo. Oh my gosh. Yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking, commenting, and or subscribing. If you really enjoyed it, consider supporting the channel. All support greatly helps keep it. Helps our keeping content like this and more. You can find the links for that in the description along with links to me on social media. So thank you again for watching, and again, thank you to ColseyMZ on Twitter for the solution to this Lugia 4-star photo. And until next time, this is Rinium T, signing out.